Do you want to learn how to do this? Well, I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can record your phone screen and then insert it into a frame for your video. If this is something you're interested in learning, then keep watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel, the place for discerning content creators and entrepreneurs looking to uplift their brand online. If you're new here, then please subscribe and remember that all the links mentioned in this video are in the description below. Let's get to it. The first step is for you to enable the screen recording function on your iPhone. If you don't have that already enabled, then you need to go to settings, control center, then customize controls and you need to add the screen recording function. I already have it selected, so I'm going to quickly remove it and show you guys how to add it. So scroll down and select the plus icon beside screen recording and that basically enables it for you to use. In order to use this, you need to go back to the home, home screen, swipe up and you see the little round icon for recording. Obviously we're recording right now, that's why it's blinking, but you get the gist. Once you're happy with your recording, you just uh, click the icon again and you will see it saved in your photos. Once you're ready to use the video, then you can upload it to Google Drive or any other cloud storage service to then download to your computer. The next step is for you to open Canva. I keep using Canva just because I'm conscious that most people don't have Photoshop and they might not have access to Photoshop. So I'm using a, a software or an application that is readily available to everybody. I decided to open up a blank YouTube thumbnail page because it suits the dimension of my videos. You need to go to elements, search for an iPhone element of your choice. There are quite a few that you can choose from, but I'm just going to select this one. Make it as big as possible. When you are happy, then download it as a PNG. Um, so that basically downloads it without a background for you. The next step is for you to open up Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the software I use to edit my videos. If you guys want a full video on how I edit my videos, then put down your request in the comment section below. I'll just show you guys where I want to insert the iPhone frame and the video. Just around around here, around here, where I point to the side and um, I'm asking, do you want to learn how to do this? Before this step, you need to have downloaded your video screenshot of your phone and then you need to have also downloaded the iPhone frame from Canva as a PNG. That's very important. You need to download it without any background. So let me just enlarge this so that you, you guys can see what I'm doing to grab the phone so I've already changed the names of the clips I want just so that I can easily access them so iPhone frame so I'm grabbing the iPhone frame now and just putting it roughly where I said this and I will look for my footage now, my screen recording. Here we go. And I'll just drag that onto the timeline. Yep, yeah, right there. Let me just um, make the video bigger so that you can see better. So one thing to call out is that as soon as you insert an element into the timeline, it takes the old screen. So for each of the elements, the frame, as well as the recording, we need to right click and then select a scale to frame size so that we can see the entire image and footage on our screen. What I've just done is to basically fit the clip into our frame size. The next thing we need to do then is to position this element where we want them to be. You need to select the element. So we're gonna select the phone element now. Go to this arrow within the editing panel, go to effects control, 
and here we can adjust the scale and the position so if I click on the figures in front of scale I can make the phone frame bigger or smaller by dragging left and right on top of the figure so I'll just find a good size and yes yeah, something like this would do I can also move it left or right the, the left value is the X axis and the right value is the Y axis I move the X axis um, left or right I can move the element left or right as well same for the Y axis I can move the frame up and down by dragging the values left and right so once I'm happy with the position then I'll do the same for the phone recording as well tweak it tweak it until we are satisfied with the results and once you're happy then we'll just tidy up the clips extend the frame so that it stops right before the intro kicks in so let's just watch the final product do you want to learn how to do this well, i'm going to be showing you in this video how you can record your phone screen and then insert it into a frame for your video if this is something you're interested in learning then keep watching so that's it guys i hope the tutorial was helpful if you have any questions put them down in the comment section below if this tutorial was helpful then give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe before you go why not check out the two videos on the screen the first one showing you how to create a logo in just 10 minutes and the second showing you how to customize stock images for your business see you in the next